So we just started to talk about this idea of class abstraction and encapsulation. And another way we can think about it is this idea that someone's gone out and built this stuff for us. And so we don't care anymore. You know, again, if we think about just Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel or Windows or the Mac OS, any program that we're using just in real life, I'm using uh, open broadcaster software. I don't need to know sort of the back end to use this thing. The same kind of concept comes on with programming. We can actually do this idea, this, this term, this $5 term of encapsulation because what this does is this now is telling me, okay, well, there's some stuff going on in the background. I don't need to worry about it. Let's think about the scanner class for a second. We, you know, we have been using the scanner class, scanner input, and I'll just kind of shorthand it there. You know, say for example, I've already instantiated it. We've been going and saying input dot next int. Now, do we know what nextint does? Do we know what's going on inside that program? No. We just know that if I do nextint retrieves an int from user, from the console. So that's where that stuff comes into play. All right. Let's see, uh, int from the user. There you go, now you can see it. Uh, so again, that is something that was built beforehand and we don't care how it works, we just kind of utilize it. Same kind of idea, here's a, here's a, a UML diagram uh, that I've already whipped up for us and it's called card. Let's think about uh, the idea, you know, I'm playing blackjack or poker or solitaire. Uh, I need to probably have something like this. You know, I've got my board and I've got my player, uh, but I've also got this card uh, class. And cards, you know, have a lot to them if we think about it. Um, let me actually move this down a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit more. There we are. That looks a little bit better. There we are. Boom, boom, boom. So I've got this card class. And so. How do I start to interact with it kind of starts to matter. But I don't know the back end. I don't know how it all works. Again, some developer's gone in and done that for me. So I come in and I just make my own card. I make uh, an ace spade equal new card. And just for my sake, you know, let's assume that I can use my noarg constructor to do that. Now I see that, I see that I have a noarg constructor and I also have one where it's giving me you know, different kinds, ints and strings. Well, as we move forward, you can see I can actually see all of the different methods that this class has available to it. So all of a sudden, all right, well, I don't know what those mean. Typically when we look at a UML or we look at uh, encapsulation, we then see there are a few definitions. There's a few explanations as to what's going on. So the ace of spades, for example, in blackjack, that kind of has a different value. It's not just a one, even though it's a single character, but I would probably want to do something like ace sp, you know, my ace of spade dot get, what's it called? Uh, get black jack value parentheses and I don't care what goes on in the background I I assume that that has all been taken care of by a developer uh, somewhere else and so all of a sudden I have this ability to say well uh, give me the value give me the blackjack value of my card my instance of a card and so I see that and I get that and it's pretty nice